the attached to sphere 3D eye expression allows to move layers along the surfaces of spheres in a very convenient way. In other ways, it changes the co coordinate system such that it follows the shape of the sphere. This sounds a bit strange, but it's very convenient and very nice. So in this case, we take this sphere here that I've created with a distribute uh, sphere eye expression, and we want to move this uh, layer here attached to the surface. So this is similar like parenting this attached text layer here to this surface, but yeah, it is not parented to a flat layer, but to this thing. Yeah, uh, we have here a null object already in the middle of this cent uh, of this uh, sphere here, and I'm just going to parent this layer to it. So I just take it and parent it, and note that it's already a 3D layer, the text here. Yeah, and now I apply to its position here this attached to 3D 3D sphere. And now what happens is the following. You can set here now in these coordinates, in the first coordinate here is radius, and here, in so let's set this here to zero, this one also to zero, and this one is now also zero. And now if we move here forward, uh, maybe I solo this layer here to speed everything a bit up. If I move here forward, you can see that the attached comes closer as we are used to. Yeah, this is now the radius of our sphere. So if we want to move on a sphere of radius 300, we set this here just to, to 300. And now the nice thing is that the meaning of this x and y change. So if we animate now in x direction, you can see it animates here now along this sphere surface really. Yeah? And also if you animate here in this direction, the y coordinate now means rotate around this sphere in this direction. And you can keyframe this as usual. Yeah? So you can, for example, say something like, okay, uh, we start here in the middle, and now we want to make one turn here uh, to this side. So in other words, um, our ice is rotating this because our center here, which we parented it, it to is rotating. Yeah, so the position control here has some rotation. Maybe this is a bit irritating now. So let's just get rid of these rotation keyframes. Now nothing is moving here anymore. But let's say this attached should rotate around our sphere. Yeah. So this means at this point we could say make one full round, which is 360 degrees. Yeah. So I set this here to 360. And note that these numbers immediately change, but this is doesn't matter. You can always go back, click here, and you can see the 360 is still there. And then let's say you want to rotate over the next two seconds in the other way. Yeah. So here, for example, upside down. And we want to have here a complete round of 360 degrees, like this. And so we have now here nicely uh, animation around this uh, sphere. Yeah, you see it's a bit rounded because we have here um, spatial uh, interpolation like this, which you can of course change in the keyframe options, but I don't want to do that. I just want to show you in advance also, or in addition how to y combine this with the look at, yeah, because it should of course look at the center of the sphere. So I go here to layer placement, uh, layer orientation say look at point because we want to look at the center of this sphere uh, look at point okay and the point we want to look at is point zero because the middle of the sphere uh, which is the position of our parent is exactly this so we say okay and if we now look at it you can see uh, it's not doing what we want why ah sorry because I applied it to the position which is of course wrong so I go edit undo apply expression I of course need to apply the, the look at to the orientation. I can do this also by selecting just the layer and no property of it. So select it and hit apply. And now you can see it moves around the sphere. Yeah, and it moves around the sphere and uh, always is oriented towards it. So this is the same as with the distribute on sphere eye expressions. But the nice thing is here you can now really keyframe your animation along the surface and also you can uh, um, animate the radius yeah, if you want to go 
come closer in, just animate here this Z. So Z is the radius, X and Y, they move on the surface, up, down, and left and right.